Yes, 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 I'm out in the shed and I'm working on proof of concept for the wonderful Raspberry Pi laptop. I found super thin cables. Look at that HDMI cable there, that's a beauty. Um, I've unpopulated one of these boards, so I've removed a whole host of components from it in order to try and make it a little bit thinner. And uh, yeah, don't worry guys, the mobility scooter is still in the picture. We're still working on that. Anyway, back to the project at hand, the laptop. This is a display driver PCB, and this is exactly the same display driver PCB, but uh, I've removed a whole bunch of components from this just to uh, thin down the profile and uh, we need to just uh, solder up a couple of these coils so that they're a little bit flatter and then we can have a slightly thinner back to this laptop rather than having a laptop that's like that thick it can be that thick um, so we've got to fit the ribbon cable just show you the ribbon cable to the display look at that ribbon cable yeah that's a bit of a pain isn't it there we go one ribbon cable fitted Doo, do, 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 do. And just to remind people what we have here, we have a 3D printed case, front, sorry, a 3D printed uh, body as well, bunch of lithium ion cells here, and a Raspberry Pi Model 3B Plus. There, that's the unit with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built into it. Um, and so what we're gonna do really is just make sure that this all sort of works. Uh, so we'll run some cables into the batteries. There's 12 volts in here and uh, then we'll use a little power supply system here a little usb power supply fire up the uh, the raspberry pi we'll get the keyboard and we'll just make sure this sort of works before we commit to to to, to doing this uh, yeah i forgot about this cable this is the hdmi hdmi cable there we go one hdmi cable All fitted cool this is gonna be <laughs> absolutely superb I'm looking forward to this right and a glue gun I think to get everything in place the TS 100 let's just find the solar powered cable of wonderfulness oh look at that there we go one solar powered soldering iron we'll just let that bad boy warm up and then we can uh, uh, reattach some of these inductors that are on the PCB and uh, then we can bolt this down with the hot glue gun and then we're nearly there then we're nearly ready for proof of of concept or concept testing whatever we're gonna call it but this is gonna be awesome I can't wait I'm gonna have a nice powerful well reasonably powerful little tiny laptop that I made myself with hopefully a decent battery life. This is gonna be awesome. I bet my missus ends up nicking it from me and using it for herself, probably to play games or something like that. Right, 300 degrees, here we go then. It's uh, first things first. So, in theory then, this is everything wired up now with the, with the uh, HDMI cable uh, and then power to the monitor here on the back, which is all sort of hot glued in place. Uh, those are the hinges down there. So, um, what we've got to do just uh, is take this power supply, uh, plug, plug the Raspberry Pi in. Great news, there's uh, flashing lights happening on on the Raspberry Pi here, we've got a green one and a red one kicking off. Here, I'll zoom you in on those a little bit. Do, 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 do. There we go. So just here, green and red LEDs kicking off. And now, in theory, if we 
connect this to that and hold it in place. Oh, yes! Awesome! Awesome! Unfortunately, it's not touchscreen, it's just regular. But, um, yeah, man, this is brilliant! So, so now we've got a, a little, um, what is that, uh, seven inch, I think, laptop screen, or five, no, five inch, yeah, five inch, <laughs> something like that. Anyway, this is awesome, absolutely, absolutely awesome. So, uh, the proof of concept, definitely. We've got a Raspberry Pi working with some cells, well, I'll sort out the power supply and put switches in here and all sorts of stuff later on, but this is definitely uh, right on target. The other thing you'll probably be complaining at me about in a moment is the fact that there's no keyboard on here. So let me go see if I can find a switch uh, to turn on and off the power. Maybe I can wire in uh, the power supply for the Pi and um, sort out some bits and pieces, just sort of rudimentary stuff. Uh, but this is brilliant. So I've got a 3D printed case. It's a 3D printed case designed by me, a 3D printed screen bezel, hinges. Um, yeah, you know what, I don't mean to show off, but I'm sort of happy. This is awesome. Okay, cheers.